Carbon pricing should be a central element of climate mitigation strategies, helping countries rapidly transition to net zero greenhouse gas emissions. Policymakers considering carbon pricing face choices between carbon taxes and emissions trading systems and in their design. Carbon cap and trade, also known as emissions trading, is a market-based approach to reducing carbon emissions by providing economic incentives for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Under the cap and trade policy, each organization can generate carbon emissions up to a predetermined limit called a cap. If an organization's emissions reach the cap, the organization must buy carbon credits from other organizations. An organization that has neither reached its annual emissions cap nor anticipates reaching its cap for the rest of the fiscal year can sell the leftover emissions credits to other organizations at a price. The market determines that price. The policy puts a price on each unit, or credit, of carbon. The higher the demand for these credits, the higher the price for them, the higher the price for them, the higher the incentive for an organization to reduce its emissions. However, higher pricing can also hurt an organization's profitability because these prices are driven by market forces very similar to the stock market. Therefore, a cap and trade policy should be accompanied by a viable emissions trading system, ETS. The trading aspect of a carbon cap and trade policy allows organizations to decarbonize while giving other organizations flexibility to manage it during the transition by purchasing carbon credits from the market. A price cap regulation is a form of economic regulation that sets a limit on the prices that a utility provider can charge. A cap and price policy occurs when a regulating agency encourages businesses to emit less than the cap by rewarding them and penalizing them for emitting more, effectively discouraging them from generating emissions. This can have a variety of forms, but in its simplest form, it consists of a reward or penalty per unit of emissions below or above the cap. This policy rewards an overachieving organization and penalizes an underachieving. Carbon offsets are investments in environmental projects that reduce carbon emissions elsewhere to compensate for your carbon footprint. Offsets are investments for carbon-reducing projects, typically offered by a third party, to offset emissions above their specified cap. However, an organization does not benefit from emitting less than its specified cap. Instead of selling excess credits to other businesses, the money goes to low-carbon infrastructure and technology. Purchasing carbon offsets funds carbon emission reduction projects, which either prevent carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere or remove carbon dioxide once it's already in the atmosphere. Banking and borrowing provide the firms with intertemporal flexibility in meeting their abatement responsibilities. Organizations can bank unused emissions for future use or borrow against future emission permits for use in the present period. A carbon tax directly sets a price on carbon by defining a tax rate on greenhouse gas emissions or, more commonly, on the carbon content of fossil fuels. It is different from an emission trading system in that the emission reduction outcome of a carbon tax is not predefined, but the carbon price is. This policy applies a specific percent tax to every unit of carbon emitted from an energy. There is no set limit on emissions, the emitter pays the tax rate on every unit of carbon generated. This provides incentives for producers and consumers alike to reduce energy use and shift to lower carbon fuels or renewable energy sources through investment or behavior. To reduce carbon emissions, governments can subsidize low-carbon enterprises or consumers that contribute to a low-carbon economy. Scholars generally believe that subsidy policies are more effective than carbon tax policies in curbing carbon emissions. This aim to improve low-carbon enterprises' research and development level. For carbon tax raise, of which 10 to 20 percent of that can be dedicated to subsidies to promote a low-carbon economy. Subsidies can be given to consumers for each renewable energy vehicle to promote eco-friendly technologies. 